hello everyone welcome to a another series another video on Azure so in last I was explain you how to do nested virtualization in that I talked about architecture of nested virtualization and and then I introduce on which region Microsoft introduced this nested virtualization means inside the Azure inside Azure VM Hyper-V and then we can have multiple virtual machines so let me start with my small introduction here myself Kumar I have 14 years experience to IT IT infrastructure my email address LinkedIn everything is there and and you can watch my YouTube channel with logicit.in so today I come up with a topic called how to get internet inside Azure VM nested VM it means how to get internet on virtual machines inside Azure VM Hyper-V so, so so I have already a one virtual machine Azure virtual machine which is E2 series because we discussed in last E2 and couple of region couple of uh, virtual machine uh, only they introduce this nested virtualization feature so which is one is e series and dv3 series all version 3 series they come up with this so i already have one virtual machine and i will show you how to get internet inside hyper v vm so so now i'm already logged in with this uh, virtual machine you see the public IP 1382.90.140 and only you need to do add roles and simple go to the server add roles and install Hyper-V during Hyper-V installation because you already have one NIC available default NIC which is given by Azure VM so at that time you no need to select that NIC so you should keep this NIC unchecked during Hyper-V installation. If you select that NIC, automatically it converted into a virtual switch, which we don't want. So that only thing which you need to take care by so simple install Hyper-V, next, 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 no need to select anything. Once Hyper-V is done, and then tools Hyper-V, and you know, how to install a virtual machine and which I already did so inside my Hyper-V 2016 server is running and I would like to show you I don't have any virtual switch it means I don't have any virtual switch switch in my Hyper-V and technically we have external internal and private I'm not going to go deep into this end of the day if I log in into my 2016 I don't have NIC and it means I don't have anything and inside I want internet so so I want local IP plus internet should be up and running inside Azure VM and that internet should pick from my Hyper-V and this Hyper-V is in is Azure Azure virtual machine so I'm going to do a virtual I'm going to click on this Azure PowerShell. So I would like to explain the concept here. So concept is we need to create a NAT rule. So first step is I'm going to create a new virtual machine switch. Name is network switch number one and internal switch. So I'm going to create a one switch now through a PowerShell. You can do same thing with with graphical Hyper-V also, like Hyper-V virtual switch manager and internal create new. I'm going to do this with a PowerShell. So my switch is ready number one so if I refresh my Hyper-V
my switch is ready second step I am going to give IP address new NAT network IP address to a virtual Ethernet NSW and I'm giving a one local address range prefix with 24-bit network this will treat as treat as a gateway So new network IP address Th this address I have given to this my switch internal switch and this will treat one IP address and I will use this as a gateway last I am going to configure a NAT rule so that we'll get internet what is this NAT rule that is new dash network NAT that's a PowerShell command name name of the rule is NAT VM dash internal IP interface address so entire range I have given so one I'm using as a gateway and I have given entire 24-bit network address so any IP address if I given to a virtual machine with a range of 192.168.0.1.2.0.254 with a gateway of 23 I want it should be a NAT so NAT rule is done you can see this NAT rule by get NAT NAT NET NA NET NAT command so we have a NAT rule so now I would like to link this NIC card virtual switch to one of the virtual machine inside my Hyper-V and you see now I have given one IP address it should be a manually static IP address which you have to define I already defined this earlier so that's why it picked so I would like to show you this So I have given 192.168.0.6 24 bit 23 is a gateway which I mentioned and DNS is this going forward if you want to make this as a domain controller so you can give 192.168.0.6 as a DNS and 8.8.8.8 as alternate DNS so as soon as you done this internet is up and running inside my Azure VM and this VM name is server 2016 on Hyper-V1 and if I minimize you know Hyper-V VM is my Hyper-V host which is an Azure VM I hope you like this recording thank you very much keep updating keep joining Keep watching my YouTube channel, which is logicit.in. Thank you very much.